This lip balm stick is the oldest still in existence. It was made in 1922, invented by Oskar Troplowitz. The product was patented in 1909. Its success story began in Hamburg. 140 million sticks are still produced here every year. The first one was encased in tin. This picture is all that remains of it. Pharmacist Oskar Troplowitz developed the lip balm for the Beiersdorf company. He called it Labello. In around 1900, lip care products were sold in chunks like butter. It was very impractical. You had to apply them with a brush or your fingers. And that was his real innovation, making a handy stick form that women could carry around in their purses. The product was first aimed at upper-class women. By the 1930s, Labella was already on sale in more than 30 countries. The packaging changed from metal to plastic, and the push-up mechanism was replaced by a twist-up stick. Today, the company sells 280 different varieties of the lip balm. So what do Germans associate with Labello? The Labella brand stands for the whole product. Grease stick winter. Lips addictive. <laughs> Antifreeze for cold days, very effective. Beautiful supple lips. Kiss. Labello came to TV screens in the 1970s. Chapped lips. Yes, so dry. Daddy, I've told you lots of times, use Labello. Labello? Advertising campaigns emphasize it as being a natural skincare product that's also slightly erotic. In the 1980s, the company also focused its advertising efforts on men. Lip balm sticks have always been popular with teenagers. Female customers are often between 12 and 15 years old. It's the first product girls use when they want to experiment with makeup, because their mothers often won't let them buy lipstick. But a lip balm is okay. Janina Hiertler, a chemistry student from Tübingen, has been collecting labellos for years. She never misses a chance to widen her collection. She looks for small variations in design that typical customers don't notice. Other companies' products don't interest her. It has to be Labello. Even when I know there aren't any new ones, I look anyway. Sometimes you find an old one that you can swap. I'm always hoping to find new ones. She already has 270 Labello sticks from various decades, from all over Europe, from China, Thailand, Canada, and Morocco. This is my oldest one. It's encased in metal, and you push it up instead of twisting it as you do now. I discovered it on eBay a while ago. These ones are fairly new. On one side, they've got the Labello labeling in normal writing. On the other side, it's in Arabic. That's really something special. It's peach flavored too, which is pretty rare. Janina swaps sticks with other collectors over the internet. Each one is cataloged and listed on her website, lipcarefans.de. Every day, she searches online pharmacies and auction sites. Her hobby could become even more time-consuming if the company follows her wishes for more variety. I'd like colorful new kinds, as varied as possible, and from lots of different countries. Labello is a century old, but the brand has stayed young. It has plenty of competitors, but none can match its cult status with collectors.